take the dress off. Take her off her stand first. I'm going to show you um, how I made the pattern. Give me one second to get this dress off of her. All right, now. This is the dress itself, okay, and this is the inside of it. This is the lining fabric of it, okay, and then there's the zipper right there. Okay, so let me lay her up here. Let me get you back to where you can see a little bit. Let me bring the camera over to the doll. All right. Oh, where is my other piece? Okay. Huh. All right, I have my front piece. Put the... Uh, dress here on my sewing machine. Probably fell somewhere. But anyhow, I got some free uh, I got some freezer paper, but first what I did was I got some scrap paper, like newspaper or you know whatever kind of scrap fabric that you have. And I I put the paper, the scrap fabric up against her body and I just laid it, you know, as far down as I wanted the dress. And I put it down to her knees a little bit, about right there. And I measured out her neck and her arms because I wanted the dress to come to about right here. I didn't want any of this to show here. So that's what I did. So I went ahead and um, just made a drawing, sort of like, you know, of her body. So I. I wanted the neck up this way, up this high. So what I did was I just got the paper and I drew a line with a pencil across the neck. I brought it down to the shoulders and I went around the arm and then I went down on the sides, both sides. And I did the same thing here, like that. And then I went down however far I wanted the dress to be. If you want it shorter, that's fine. You can also do this procedure if you want to make a top for the dress, I mean for the doll. So if you would just want to make a top, then you come down however long or short you want the top. And then for the back, I did basically the same thing. I got the paper and I drew a line around the back of her neck and then I drew it to her shoulders and around this way and then down the side. So what I really did was I followed the lines of the seam of her body. All right, so this is your middle seam right here. This is where the zipper's gonna go. So then I got the paper and I drew a line on this side of the seam and on this side of the seam. And then I just cut everything out and leave um, leave extra for the sewing part you're going to need maybe like a quarter inch or half inch I would do a half inch or a five eighths inch extra on um, the seams so you can sew it and you know it's going to be big enough to fit her okay so now we got that out of the way then I traced it on to freezer paper and uh, you're going to see here, I asked, um, I didn't cut it long enough because when I cut out my pattern, I realized I wanted it a little bit longer. So I cut out extra paper to make it longer, the length that I wanted. So anyhow, I cut everything out. And so this is one of the back pieces, and this is the side the zipper is going to go on. And then here's your armhole. And then here's the um, inside seam underneath her arm, right here. And right here is your shoulder. Here's the neckline. Well, this is the back of the neck right here. 
the front of the neck is going to go a little bit more down and then like I said this is where your zipper is going to go so you cut you cut out two pieces of your top fabric lace whatever you're going to use and two pieces of your lining and then the same thing with the front now this is what the front piece is going to look like when you cut it out so you want one for the front piece and one for the lining okay the next step I did was I took each piece because this fabric here this lacy fabric is silky and it's soft and it slides around very easily so I took the precaution of sewing from the neck this way all the way so I can catch in the lace fabric with the lining fabric so I wouldn't have to fight with it later on I did that on the two back pieces and I did it on the front piece. Now see here, let me show you an example. Here's the back piece. Here's your neck, here's your neckline right here. Okay? So you will see this is your back right here. This is the back of her neck. So you're gonna see this is your front you're going to see how much more you need to dip down to uh, make the neckline. But really, just follow um, her body and you can make your own pattern. Alright, so after I did that, then I went ahead and I sewed the shoulder pieces together, like that, and then I took the armhole Well, you know what? I'll tell you that step next. I need to, I need to do this piece. I need to. Um, oh, wait. I need to sew the, uh, the lace to the lining so it doesn't slip around on me. So let me get back you back to my sewing machine. I don't know how much you're going to be able to see. We're going to, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Okay, I think that might work for you. Okay, so, next thing I do is I go ahead and I just pin. You know, I just, I pin all the, so, you just need to do maybe an eight just to make sure you get all the uh, fabric um, in. All right. And just take your time. And of course, do not go over your needle. Mm -hmm. I mean your pens. I haven't done a tutorial in a long time, so I thought I would do one for you. I finally finished the Elsa dress. So I got that done. Then my granddaughter changed her mind. She doesn't want to be Elsa. So, I'm going to put it on Craigslist and try to sell it. I put a lot of money and work into that dress. Total all together, buying the supplies and sewing it, four months of preparation. Because I bought the fabric as it went on sale. So, that was an expensive dress. I'll probably sell it for about $70 because I'm counting the time that I had to put into it to make it. And I was I was really upset when I found out she changed her mind. She's seven. So 
I was very, very upset. She doesn't want to be Elsa anymore. So I think she wants to be Monster High. I can't remember what she wants to be. Um, so I'll just sell it. And there's no, there's a little girl out there that wants to be Elsa. this sewing machine. I think this is my most favorite sewing machine. All it does is a straight stitch. But that's alright. Mm, excuse me, because my other machines, they do zigzags and, you know, some of the other fancy stitches. So. But... This is my favorite machine. I love it. Put a lot of money, well not a lot of money, but some money into it to get it working good. I got it from a thrift store. Okay. All right, so I've got my pink and shears. Let me go ahead and trim. Okay. That's all the trim I'm going to do because when um, when I sew the seams together, then um, I'll go ahead and trim those at that time. Okay, so let me zoom out. Okay, so there you go. I've got the lace sewn onto the lining. So that way now when I need to do the seams and the armhole and everything the fabric won't be sliding on me. Alrighty. Oh, let me tighten this knob right here because my camera just slid down. My tripod. Okay, now let's bring it back into focus. Alright. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to sew the sides, I mean the shoulders. Let's go ahead and do that. And do a back stitch. I usually do a back stitch across the whole shoulder. Okay, now the next thing you want to do is you want to, oh, I didn't, let me trim this armhole right here. So now, I'm going, let me zoom you out, I'm going to uh, do the armholes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the armhole under, like that, and you want your seam line on the inside. And uh, it looks like maybe a quarter inch under, let's go ahead and pin that one into the other. Now you want to turn it under again. So you want to pin it. And you just turn it under um, 
I just lost my thought. Anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. You want to hide the raw edges. This is beautiful fabric. I got it from fabric.com. I got a quarter yard of it and I still have a lot left. Alrighty. This would be smoother to do because, you know, you just had to fold it over and under. I always say when I sew, I like easy. Okay, I'm all coming up on the shoulder seam, so that's going to be a little tougher to get through, so you have to really guide it. There we go, got it. out of my way okay so this is what it looks like when you fold it under all right the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to sew up the side seam that's underneath the arm so line everything up Sorry about that. This machine is a Singer 201-2. It was made in 1949. This is the original cabinet. Love this machine. Okay. All right, I'm going to do my trimming with my pink and shears. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Oops, go the wrong way. Oh, you were zoomed out. Okay. So, very carefully. Stay away from where you just sewed. If when you when you um, use fabric like this and you're cutting it out, use pink and shears. That way you won't have to go through all this. All right. All right. This is how the dress looks so far. Now, at this point, if I wanted to put a trim up around the neckline, I can do that. Or, I could just um, fold it under. Which I think I'm going to fold it under and then Yeah, I'm gonna. I, you'd have to put the zipper in uh, first before you do the neckline. Okay, so now the next thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to sew up the back seam, but you need to measure your zipper. You want a seven-inch zipper, nothing shorter, because you might have problems trying to get the dress on her. 
So, um, let me get my zipper and take it from the, uh, let me unzip it, it might be easier. Take it from the top and bring it down to where the end of it is. Like that. And I see it goes to right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up just a little bit because I want the bottom part of the zipper to go into the seam. So I probably took it up uh, I took it up an inch and a half. That means my dress is what? Eight and a half, nine inches long. Okay, so. Up oh, my arm again. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting because I'm in the habit of having my arm right there. Okay, now when you get to the pin, you want to go just a little bit above it. And then you want to back stitch a little bit. And then go back up. And there you go. Okay, and then I want to trim this right here. So that's what you're going to be doing. You're just going to go up high enough for your zipper to meet at the bottom to the top. Okay. So now I want to open this seam up. 